Hello, my first graders. Today we are on page 203. We're going to work on our chapter three review. You're going to have a review and then a test. Okay, so listen as we go over how to solve all our problems from the chapter. Okay, so just a reminder that in this chapter, they talked about many different strategies. I want you to use the strategy that works best for you to get your answer. If you are not very good with doubles or doubles plus one or doubles minus one, use a different strategy. Maybe it's drawing a picture. Maybe it's counting on. Okay, this, was stra this whole chapter was about strategies. Use what's going to get you the right answer. All right, it says write the add-ins in a different order. So we had five plus four equals nine. If we change the order of these add-ins, right? These are our add-ins. Instead of five plus four, it would be four plus five, and our answer would still be nine. So remember, changing the order of the add-ins means you switch these around, okay? You switch them around. This says count on from four write the number that shows one more. So remember when we said when we count on, right, from a number, it means you're taking the two numbers and adding together. It's just like saying four plus one when it says count on from four. So if you have four and you get one more, what do you have? So put four in your head, four, five. Okay. Right, number three. The cubes show a doubles fact. Choose the doubles fact and the sum. So what doubles fact is this showing? See how they're doubles, they're the same size? Count these, count the cubes. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, so our doubles fact is five plus five. If you didn't know that, could you still have counted five and then counted this one? Yeah, you could have done that. Five plus, was it five or six? Five, right? Doubles fact means same numbers. And what does it equal? What does five plus five equal? Well, some of you know it because you know your doubles facts and some of you don't. So you would have to count all the squares. So five plus five is 10. All right. Let's look at our word problem here at the top. There are three red leaves. There are four yellow leaves. How many leaves in all? Use a double to add. Write the missing number. Okay, so do you remember what we do when they're about the same size? Remember how we make them? If they say use a double, we have to chop one off, right? Turn it into a double. So what is our doubles fact now? Three plus three. How many more do we still need to add? Because here's our three and our three plus how many more? One. So three plus, plus three plus one. How many is that all together? Could we just count them all if we wanted to? Absolutely. How many did you get? Seven. Okay, so one of the things when you're working on the computer, when you're taking your test, is you want to see, does it show the right answer? Okay, so that's one of the ways that you can check and make sure that you're picking the correct one. Does it have the right answer? If you counted them all, does it equal the right amount? Okay, so that's one of the things that you want to look at. Number five, choose all the doubles facts that can help you solve eight plus seven. Okay, so remember when we make a doubles fact, okay, it means we take a number and we use it twice. Okay, the same number twice. Look at the numbers that we have, eight and seven. Hmm, four plus four. Is that one of our numbers? No, so we can't use four plus four. It's not one of our numbers. We can only double one of the numbers we have here. Seven plus seven. Would that work? Yes, because look, seven is one of our numbers. We can double that. Eight plus eight, can we use eight plus eight? Yes, because that is one of our numbers. 
Okay. Remember, when it says choose all, it means there is more than one right answer. So make sure that you're careful with that when you're taking your test. When it says all, that you choose more than one answer. Okay, be careful with that. Number six, write a count on two fact to show a sum of 10. Then write a doubles fact to show a sum of 10. Okay, so first things first, what doubles fact equals 10? Think about the doubles fact we did. Hmm, two plus two, no. What equals 10? Think about your fingers. How many equals 10? Five plus five. That's a doubles fact that equals 10. Five plus five. All right. Now it says write a count on two fact to show a sum of 10. So remember, we said a count on two fact means it's a plus two. So we know two plus something gives us 10 because it said sum of 10. So that means the answer equals 10. All right. How many, what do we have that equals 10? Well, let's take 10. Here's our 10. Three, four, five. I drew 10 circles. Maybe you want to draw 10 circles. If you need to draw them, take a pause. Okay. We know that we have two of them. Right, here's our two, two in a group. How many more do we have? Well, look. How many did you have? Eight. Okay, so two plus eight more equals 10. Now, my first graders, when you're doing this on the computer, you want to think which ones are the right answers. So if they show you a doubles fact, like three plus three, does that equal 10? Mm -mm. So you wouldn't pick that one. You would look for the one when it says sum of 10, it means it equals 10. Same thing when it shows you a fact uh, that needs to equal 10, that's a, a count on two. Okay, you wanna look and see, does it equal 10? You have to add them together and see. Okay, that's what you want to do to make sure that you have the right answer. Number seven, match the models to the number sentences. Okay, so remember this is with our plus 10. So here's 10 plus how many more down here? None. So none, what's another way to say none? Zero. Do we have a 10 plus zero down here? We do. So let's draw our line from here to here. Look at this one. All the reds filled in first. So 10 plus how many down here? Three. So do we have a 10 plus three? We do right here. And our last one, 10 plus one more. Do you see that? 10 plus one. Okay. So on the computer, when we're doing this, you're thinking about your 10 plus problems. You look at your red plus your yellow. All right, number eight. Sh the model shows eight plus five equals 13. Write the 10 fact that has the same sum. Okay, so we need to turn this into a 10 because it tells us a 10 fact. Do you remember what we do? We have open spaces, so we have to slide them up, right? Slide them up in there. So now we have 10 plus how many down here? 10 plus three. Does that equal 13? 10 plus three equals 13. It does. Now on your computer, when you're, when you're practicing, remember when it asks you to make a 10 fact that has the same sum, right? It means the answer is still the same. You want to look at your, the 10 facts that they write. If they wrote 10 plus five equals 15, it does equal 15, but does it have the same sum? It doesn't, 13, 15, not the same. 
So you want to think about that when they're asking you what one has the same sum. Find the one, right, that equals 13. All right, at the bottom, does the addition show how to make a 10 to add? Choose yes or no. So they want to know if you put any of these numbers together, does it make 10? So let's try it. Does seven plus three equal 10? Well, let's put seven in our head, three on our fingers. Seven, eight, nine, 10. Does that make 10? It does. So we wanna say yes. If we put two of the numbers together, it would make 10. All right, look at this, seven plus five plus five. Hey, there's a double in there. Five plus five, what does five plus five equal? Five plus five is, five plus five is 10. Hey, that equals 10. So we can say yes to that one. All right, let's look at this one, five plus four plus seven. All right, if we put five and four together, does that make 10? Well, let's try it, I'll put five in my head, four of my fingers, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, that only equals nine. That doesn't equal 10. How about four and seven? Could I put these two together? Does that equal 10? Well, seven's my big number. I'll put that in my head, four on my fingers, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. No, that doesn't equal 10. So this is going to be a no. No matter how we group the numbers, it does not equal 10. All right, look at the cubes. Complete the addition sentence to show the sum. Choose the missing number and the sum. Okay, remember, sum means the answer. So look what they give us so far. Two, two plus blank. Okay, so what's our next number? How many is that? Three plus, oh, they give us four already. Four equals blank. How many is this all together? So count them all. What did you get? Nine. Two plus three plus four equals nine. Write two ways to group and add four plus two plus five. Okay, so they want to know how can we put that together? So let's start first. Could we put the four and the two together? Could we group them together? Yes, we could. What is four plus two? Four, five, six. So six could be our first number. Four plus two is six. Plus how many more do we still have? Five. So let's add six plus five together. We'll put six in our head because it's the big number. Five on our fingers. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, but we're not done yet. We put four and two together for the first one. This time, why don't we put the two and the five together? So what is two plus five? Could we do put five in our head? Cause it's the big number, two on our fingers. Let's count on five, six, seven. So five plus two is seven plus what's our other number we have left? Four. So now we need to add seven plus four. You ready? Seven's our big number, goes in our head, four goes on our fingers. All right, you ready? Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. All right, so no matter how we add this up, it still equals 11. When you're working on the computer, you wanna make sure maybe on a scrap paper, you could draw your circles, add these all together, see what you get, what your answer would be, what's the sum. And then check and see that the answers you pick 
have the same sum, okay? So if this equals 11, you want to pick the ways that make 11. Okay, look at number 12. Beth sees four red birds. She sees two yellow birds. She sees four blue birds. Draw a picture of the birds. Okay, so they want us to draw this out. So we know we have four plus two plus four equals. They want us to draw a picture. Okay, so we're gonna make our circles to match, right? You have four, so you should have four circles. Our next number is two, so we have two circles. Our last number is four, so we have four circles. Okay, how many is that all together? So we can count all of our circles. What did you get? 10. So Beth sees 10 birds. Okay, so on your computer, you just want to make sure that your the picture that you pick matches your numbers. All right, boys and girls, ready? Make sure you study for your test.